Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today. I learned Rails series. Today we're going to be combining our sitemap generator from the previous episodes with the credentials so we can upload our sitemap automatically to AWS. We want to do that because Heroku's file system is ephemeral and it may reboot at some point and you'll lose that sitemap. So it's very simple. We'll keep it super short on this one. If you like this type of content, subscribe and like. Uh, support me on Patreon as well. That'd be awesome. So first things first, ensure your credentials are set. We did that in the last episode. Uh, I reset new credentials, so I have an updated credentials here um, because obviously I showed them in that episode. Uh, go ahead and set yours up if you haven't already, and come on back. Next thing is under AWS here, you want to go ahead and create some S3 folders inside of a bucket, create some buckets rather. Uh, I'm going to call it, call it my own programming today I'll TIL Rails and then the environment for each. So the things to note here is I have already have a sitemap. Go ahead and delete that so you guys can see it work. So you have to type in permanently delete that. Back that bucket. So we got nothing in here right now. And the main thing is we don't block all access right now. So we can definitely play around with and make sure that we have proper settings in terms of that. But the main thing is you need to be credentialed in order to do the uploading. So, but this we want to unblock right now. So that way Google and other search engines can go ahead and read that sitemaps file. Next thing is we're going to go ahead and add the AWS SDK Ruby library to our gems. You could add everything if you want, or you could add specific ones, uh, depending on which services you're using. Uh, I went ahead and threw in the S3 only one because that's the only AWS SDK I need. I don't need all of it. So this will kind of keep our uh, entire bundle size down. And then of course, running bundle install on that. Then it's just a matter of changing our sitemap. And so the main thing is we're going to require the SDK in here. I'm going to go ahead and throw the default host to what my Heroku instance name is for this sitemap. Still keeping the public path uh, of temp so where it's going to be built. And then the sitemaps path is within the bucket. Where is it going to go? So over here, you can see it has already. Uh, it doesn't have anything right now, but it's, it's going to create a sitemaps um, folder in this bucket. And then sitemap generator, it has an SDK adapter for AWS, and it has other ones as well. You can go ahead and look at that on the sitemap generator. Let me look up the site real quick, and we can see what other. OK, so look, it's got AWS, Wave, Google Storage. But this S3, I'm not sure what the difference is between this three and the AWS SDK is. Fog and file adapter. So a bunch of different ones you can do. And then, then it's just a matter of providing the proper credentials. And so this is using the credentials that we set in the last episode. So AWS access key and uh, secret key. And then the region that we're going to have it provided into. So with all of that, then it's just a matter of calling the sitemap break task. Go ahead and do this now. So I'm going to do the no ping version. And you can see it created the sitemaps in temp sitemaps. And then it went ahead and uploaded it. So now if I go over here to my S3 bucket and I refresh, you'll see I now have a sitemaps folder and it is generated right now. And we can go ahead and take a look at this object. You could see it has the proper, well, everything. So that's it, a super short episode. And now you can make sure that your sitemaps are generated and stored on S3. Uh, like and subscribe if you will, and support me on Patreon or buy me coffee. Thanks guys, talk to you later.